next, a matchup in the UFC lightweight division between Alexander Volkanovsky and Justin Gaethje. All right, here's the lightweight contender, former University of Northern Colorado wrestler, Justin Gaethje. We've spent a lot of time with this young man. We both think he is one of, if not the most exciting fighter in the sport today. But he doesn't lean on those wrestling chops. He's worried about wrestling fatigue, and the results certainly speak to him having the right approach. Lowe. As you said, John, University of Northern Colorado wrestler, All-American. Right. He was an All-American, but to this point, he has not scored one takedown. He doesn't need to. He wants to go in there, and he wants to fight. He said he shows up to put on it, a highlight. His nickname's the highlight, and he has earned that and is justified every time he steps foot in the octagon. Just a fantastic mixed martial artist with a full toolbox of skill at his disposal. And when he has faced adversity, he has come back stronger than ever. Ask his recent victims, James Vick and the aforementioned Edson Barbosa. Proudly repping the Anzacs, Australia and New Zealand. Here is City Kickboxing's UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky draws rave reviews from past opponents, from his teammates. He is the ultimate competitor, and anybody who saw him compete in a rugby league setting at 214 pounds, I might add, knows just how committed this guy is to athletics and to realizing greatness in the UFC. He certainly did that against Max Holloway, but he's gonna get everybody's best shot, and that continues in earnest here tonight as they all continue to chase down the Australian champion, Volkanovsky. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Both fighters are 31. Volkanovski will have a one-inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the new corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gage. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Alexander the Great Volkanovski. All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves. So back to corners. Come out there. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be slightly advantage on one side, but maybe this is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Big ball for punch land. Now we get back to range. Double leg takedown stuffed. And they separate. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Gaethje. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Time 
timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Right hand punch to the clinch. Couple of chins here being tested early. Finish could come at any time. Oh, big left. Oh. Ooh. Big knee. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, Volkanovski strike attempt there is blocked. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I'm going for that patented rear naked choke now. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 26 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Alexander the Great Bonanoski! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.